Hey gang, Matt with Atlas Precision Consulting back with another exciting cycle count video. In this one, we're going to talk real quick about a discrepancy report that P21 has caused the physical count versus on hand report. Now you can't run that directly from your physical count screen where you've been doing your uh, entering your counts in for your cycle count. Uh, but I'm still on this screen because I want to remind you that we did not save this batch as approved because in order to run a physical count versus on hand report, that physical count batch still needs to be open. If you post that as adjusted, that now becomes your on hand. So there's no physical count to compare it to anymore. Also, while you're in here, it's always a good idea to jot down the adjustment number because that's the number that um, the report is gonna ask for. Now, if you just have the cycle count number on your paperwork, you can use that to look it up as well. So let's jump over here to the report. I'm gonna go ahead and enter in my location. Now, again, this is where it's asking for adjustment number, but I'm gonna double click in here. This approved box is your important one. You wanna make sure it's set to both or no, since our batches are not gonna be approved for this purpose. So if I type in my cycle count batch of 26, you see that it does find the correct adjustment batch. Um, now the variance options, you have two different ones. You have percentage and amount. If you leave them as zero, it's gonna print everything in the batch, regardless if it was a discrepancy or not. Um, I like to use amount that is a cost amount. Um, if you put a penny that is going to find any and every discrepancy plus or minus a penny, um, which should be pretty much anything. Um, now, if you had a threshold, you only want to look at, look at 250 or more or whatever that number is, you can put that in here. Sort order is just going to be how it's displayed on the results screen. And so we're going to click retrieve. Um, now, you can export this to Excel or you can export it to a PDF. The PDF looks a little bit nicer, uh, but I did want to say really all it's doing is it's gonna take this grid on the screen here. So like if I wanted to move this new quantity over here and I wanted to move the unit of measure here, what I'm doing on that screen is what's gonna be generated on that PDF. Um, this is showing all of our discrepancies. Now the downside is if you are somebody that does lots, like these items that I counted have lots in them, there is no way out of the box for them to display lots on here. So make sure you have that counting paperwork uh, handy for you so you can um, know what lots you're looking for. Uh, so we're just gonna click the export to PDF just so you can see what that looks like. It gives you a preview and we can hit generate. I'll show you what that looks like. Um, and you can see that um, I moved those fields around and you can see that they kind of changed what was on that screen. So if you did remove, uh, like if you move supplier ID and supplier name, if you didn't care about that, that obviously would not be showing up on here. Um, so if you have questions about this or anything else, uh, put a comment down below. Make sure you like and subscribe. And as always, Atlas is here for your P21 needs.